Welcome to History Adventuring. This is episode number 72. I'm Brad Hall, and today we're wearing matching his and hers nightwear from Rhodes in Old Time Phoenix. When I stumbled on this billboard, which is on the Duke University site, Rode, resource of outdoor advertising descriptions, I immediately thought of my top history adventurer, who has a particular horror of matching his and hers outfits. I really have no idea what he wears on a daily basis, but my best guess is that it's very casual. The way that I used to see the millionaires at the classic car shows would dress, no need to impress anyone, and they would write checks for a million bucks to buy a car. Speaking for myself, while I've never had any objections to following the suggestions of the women in my life, I've been fortunate that I've never been asked to wear matching his and hers outfits. The women in my life have understood that I'm a man, not a Ken doll. Anyway, my point here is that I emailed this to my friend as a joke, instead of asking him to help identify the exact location, which he does for me. And to my surprise, he did identify the exact location, which of course is Phoenix, and it's at 16th Street in Highland. I'll see if I can explain his methods. I've tried to apply what he does, but I'm a bumbling Watson to his homes, so the best I can do is try to narrate. First thing he does is to go look at vintage maps, presumably with a hunch as to location. Looks like this. Here's a 1969 aerial of Phoenix, Arizona. And if you look very, very carefully at the lower right edge of the photo, you can see this. Then the final piece of the puzzle is the number one, which you can just barely see on the Highland sign. And here I quote, <clears throat> The number one would be the first of four numbers, 1600. If it was 7th Street, that number would be a 7. If it was 24th Street, that number would be a 2, etc. It can only be 16th Street. But my friend has never said, you know my methods, apply them, because he seems to know that I can't even come close to thinking like that. Anyway, I've saved the file with the description, location, and date, which I estimate to be early 1970s. And I'm left to ponder his and hers matching sleepwear from Rhodes, which was at 18th Street in Camelback, and also at Metro Center, although I have no memory of this. As far as I can tell, the owl is either impressed by the detective work or displeased by the matching his and hers sleepwear. The world may never know. This has been History Adventuring. I'll talk to you later.